Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. It's high-tech camera work here. Your camera <laughs> is piled up on a, on, a, on a bunch of books. So Strategic Planning Kit for Dummies, you know, the yellow uh, series. Craig Kramer's, all Ks, CEO Tools, The Nuts and Bolts of Business for Everyday Managers Success. And then just in case, um, the Book of Idle Pleasures, sent to me by my best mate, probably uh, a hint in there. And then, um, Oh, here's one, the presentation of self in everyday life, Irving Goffman, and then Anthony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within, and Marie Kondo, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidiness. Um, <laughs> and then it, your camera is backed on to some hyacinths and some tulips. So if you can imagine what's behind the camera, <laughs> it's on a bunch of books and then backed up by a bunch of flowers. So what have we got here? Uh, heating. My tenants, um, the tenants in shared houses are uh, on uh, an all-inclusive price but with a fair usage policy and we have a, a policy of going around and checking the heating, the gas and electricity, then sending them into the utility bills, sorry, the utility companies just to give them the readings. However, I've done three inspections recently and each time, and many of you may recognise this, uh, the heating was on, certain windows were open and nobody was at home. And I found it really frustrating. So what we've done is we've just basically sent, got a letter to say, guys, we just thought it would be sensible to drop your letter to remind you that in your rent, there's a fair usage. And then just really t telling them why, because we visited some houses and the windows were open and all the rest of it. There is a fair usage policy and we do have to spread that across everybody if uh, the heating is over the fair uses policy and then just kind of your next steps number one check the boiler timings now we can't tell them how much heating to use because that's I believe uh, and you need to phone up some of the legal helplines just to check the legal legality of this because I'm not giving you legal advice but I believe that's against the law but we're just suggesting they might want to alter for British summertime because you don't want to be heating a house unnecessarily check the boiler in the hot water level I was in a house last week <laughs> and it was turned up to six and every single window was was open so maybe they want to reduce that down to about three be aware of heating and lighting left on when no tenants are in the property or when it's not needed and be aware that this is a collective responsibility so we'll have to charge the whole group if there is an excess so really we're just kind of saying guys you know here's the background this is why we've written to you and these are the four steps in bold we'd like you to do why? Because A, we want good working relationships with our tenants, and B, uh, I don't, I get aggrieved. Um, I get aggrieved for energy usage, as well as the fact that it's actually costing me, Susanna, money. It's just like crazy. You walk into a house and it's the heating is on and the windows are open and nobody's at home. I just think that's, it's my Scottish background in me. Um, so we want that we want to help them help themselves and we always want to have good relationships with our tenants but we also want to help them help themselves to understand the constraints of their contract to understand that they would be charged if they're using too much energy and to understand that they've got collective responsibility because I think sometimes in a group particularly if not everybody knows each other it's easy to think well it's kind of not me so I'm not actually going to take responsibility for turning down the thermometer so we're just hoping that it gives them a little nudge into uh, deciding that maybe they don't need to be heating a house with the windows wide open. The alternative to that is obviously that we take the meter readings, which of course we do, uh, and we send them in to get the gas and the electricity bills, and then we add up um, the total usage. But I'd rather that it was, um, what would you call it? Self-governing and responsible and mature and grown up, because we do have really great tenants, and we have mature, grown up, working professional tenants. So small things, but I have quite a lot of houses, so I leak a lot of money, if you like, through uh, wasted energy, but also the energy leaks, and that's even worse. So it just might be something that you want to spend some time doing. See you soon. Bye.